when you're writing code, you're gonna make errors. Sometimes it's your own fault, sometimes it's a user input, and perhaps sometimes it's a server request. We need a way to catch those errors. The syntax that JavaScript uses is the following. There's try keyword, which allows you to test a block of code for errors. There's catch that allows you to catch the error only if it occurred in the try block. There's finally that allows you to execute the code after try and catch block no matter what happened. There's also a keyword throw that allows you to throw errors manually. The easiest way to create an error in the try block is by using a variable or some kind of function that doesn't exist. So here I'm just going to put in this variable that does not exist and then do a catch. Variable error, E double R, is actually an object and it contains different type of information about the error that happened. And one of the fields in the object is message, which will show you text of the error. So let's run this. So in our try block, an error happens because there's no such thing as depth delight. And then the catch catches it and prints out a message which is not defined. Now I mentioned finally, and finally is just something that will always get executed no matter what. So for example, you always want to say exit after your code block. So no matter what happens, exit will print out. Here's an example when we don't have an error. As you can see, the catch block did not execute because there's no error, but the final is still executed. Now the throw keyword allows you to throw a custom error or allows you to throw an error manually for example, let's say we got some kind of user input and we set this to zero. So in our code, we can check that if user input is zero, we can throw an error. Do triple equal sign. Very common mistake. Let's see. Boom. Invalid input number. Exit. So as you can see, we threw a custom error and we caught it in the catch block. So this is the basic of trying out some kind of code. And if there's an error, catching it, f printing it out with finally and throwing an error. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click like, subscribe. And let me know in the comments section what kind of other tutorials you would like to see in the future. Talk to you soon.